Breaking news, my country people. The River State House of Assembly has accused Governor Sim Fubara of engaging in illegality with regards to his recent appointment. Guys, they've accused the Governor Sim Fubara of tyranny. Now, the House have resolved to write a letter to the Governor warning him against his actions, my country people. There is fire on the mountain, though. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Now, my country people, on Monday, the Speaker, Martin, levied the accusation against the Governor during a plenary on Monday at the, at the River State Assembly quarters in Port Harcourt, the state capital. The lawmaker converged for an unscheduled plenary following their last sitting, during which they overrode the governor and entracted four laws. On Monday, the majority leader of the House, Major Jack, drew the attention of the speaker to the recent appointment by the governor. The appointments are to head three parastels of the government, namely the Local Government Service Commission, the Bureau of Public Procurement, and the New City Development Authority. Now, the Speaker explained that the mode of appointment was provided for in the law and that there are no provision for acting chairman. The House, however, entered a debate and some of the lawmakers raised questions about the legal existence of the New City Development Authority. Now, this Speaker has accused the Governor of tyranny, even as the House have resolved to write a letter warning him against his actions. The new developments in the Assembly, guys, have continued to fall speculations about whether or not the House would resume its aborted impeachment proceedings against the River State Governor, Sim Fubara, my country people. This is just coming as the Governor have recently taxed the reappointed commissioners not to use their office with an intention to destroy his uh, his uh, administration. Sim Fubara recently charged his new chief of staff, Edison Ehi, and some other appointees against using their positions to want to destroy his, uh, his, his regime. Now, the charge came after the swearing-in as the former lawmaker and also a chief of staff and other special advisors at the Executive Council Chambers in uh, River State on Monday. Now, all these six appointees were active supporters of uh, Governor Fubara. But then, in the wake of the political crisis in the state, the governor took out time to urge them to set aside partisan partisanship and urge them to contribute to the growth of the state. At this point, these battles ought to be over. But it seems that these battles are not over, as the River State Assembly are planning on writing to the governor. Hey, my country people, what is going on? It seems these guys are out to frustrate Sim Fubara. Many people saw this coming, that these assembly guys will bite him hard. The House of Assembly people would definitely strike back at Sim Fubara. What is going on? I really hope peace will prevail in River State because I don't know why they are bringing up problems and these problems are coming as distractions. And this would, this would make Fubara not to concentrate on his work as the governor in the state. So is it that they want the governor to step down so they can't be satisfied? I don't really know what is really going on. It seems the war is not over. The war is still on. And at any point, we may see another impeachment plot against Sim Fubara. It seems they are all targeting impeachment and they are gearing up for another impeachment. So this would be like a part two. And now Fubara has, you know, brought them back into his cabinet as lawmakers. So, oh, my country people, what is going on in River State? Well, they've accused Fubara of misconduct and, you know, other things that Fubara is a tyranny, Fubara is this, Fubara is that. 
Fubara must do what they want. If not, they would impeach him. This is not how, you know, uh, I, I guess they are doing their job as lawmakers to checkmate the executive and to checkmate the, the, the dealings of the governor. But at some point, you know, their moves tend to be suspicious as we are yet to see what Fubara has actually done to warrant a statement of tyranny, you know, uh, an accusation of tyranny, accusing him of misconduct, even as they've written later, warning him of his actions, I guess it is too early, my country people. It is too early for this battle to, 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 to begin. It is too early because we are yet to shake off from what transpired, you know, back then, and now they are trying to come up with another, you know, uh, uh, quarrels, another misunderstanding. And you know what? Mwike, the former governor of River State, recently, during the swearing-in ceremonies, was also absent during the re- uh, swearing-in of some uh, appointees. He was absent when they were swearing-in some appointees in River State. He was not present. But then some other dignitaries came, you know, they were present. And at this point, the governor told the people of River State that he is out to bring peace to the people of River State. He would contribute and he would make sure he gives his all to make sure River State prosper, to make sure, you know, things in River State are not the way they they, they are and to move River State forward and really hoped that, you know, uh, all these distractions would not come again. He also mentioned the fact that Tinibu really helped him. Tinibu helped him, you know, to maintain his position as the River State Governor. If not, he would have been removed, perhaps by Yeson Wiki and his allies, the River State uh, lawmakers. He would have been removed. So, during the swearing-in, he thanked uh, Ashiweju Bolad Met Tinibu, you know, the president of this country, thanked him and also gave his gratitude to god that god gave him power and as such no man should try to take it away from him but then my country people not up to you know 24 24 hours we've seen another another um you know story whereby they are accusing fubara of misconduct and who knows what will happen we really hope we won't get to see you know, uh, a news that concerns impeachment plot against Sim Fubara. I am really tired of what's going on in River State. I just want Fubara to focus as the governor and work for the people, by the people, and be for the people. And all these dramas should come to an end so that peace can reign in rivers. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.